you to smoke weed? No. God didn't make you to shoot up with cocaine? No. God didn't make you to chase women? No. God didn't make you to chase men? No. God didn't make you to be lazy? No. <laughs> God didn't make you to beat women. No. God didn't make you to steal. No. God didn't make you to rape. No. God didn't make you to arch your eyebrows. No. God didn't make you to put gold on your teeth. No. God didn't make you to switch like Eve. No. God didn't make you to kiss another man. No. God didn't make you to marry another man. No. God didn't make you to get on your knees and put your mouth on another man. No. Talk to me. No. Ooh -la. Ooh -la. Anytime you get God out of a society, right. then that society has to become uncivil. Amen. You become uncivilized. Yes. God brings order Amen. to civilization. That's right. How do you expect for things get better if America rejects God? Amen. The White House was never designed to save America. That's right. That's right. There's not a congressman that walked the earth that had what it takes to save America. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Not a black man have it. Go ahead. Not a white man have it. Not a brown man have it. Not a yellow man have it. God said, look unto me. Hallelujah. Be ye saved. That's right. Oh, the ends of the earth. Yes. Preach it, Are you listening to what I'm talking? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's look at God's agenda mm -hmm. and see what the God established, mm -hmm. not just for America, yes. but for the world. Genesis chapter 1 mm -hmm. and verse 27. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 27. Listen. So God created man. <laughs> so God created man in his own image. In his own image. In the image of God. In the image of God created he him. Created he him male and female male and female created, created he them he them amen making man in his image his image meaning he made man to reflect god that's right making man in his image mm -hmm had nothing to do with the color that he made man. No, no. It was the character that God put within the color. That's right. Yes, the first man was African. Yes. I said, well, I had no problems with that. The Garden of Eden was in Africa. That's right. But it's no big deal that the first man was an African man. No. The big deal is the image that the man was made in. That's it. That's right. What happened, what happened? to man? What happened? Who image Go ahead, brother. do you hold today? Go ahead. Go ahead. The image of man have been contaminated. Yeah. The image of man have become corrupt. That's right. For what changes an image is the change of the character. That's right. It's the change of the mind. That's it. Young brothers in the streets of America value realms and cars yeah more than they do a breathing human being that's true what is it that motivate that young man to carjack someone yeah and rape a 12 year old girl My Lord. what 
is it that motivates you, young man, to rape someone old enough to be your grandmother? That's right. What is it? What have happened to your character? Amen. That have motivated you so bad that you're willing to rape your own daughter? That's right. That's true. What is it that have happened to you, man? You was made by God to reflect him. We were made by the best. That's right. There's none better than him. That's right. There's none equal to him. Amen. There's none greater than him. Amen. He said, there is no God before me. There is no God after me. Before me, there was no God for him. That's right. Think of it. Something. The master of eternity. Yes. Made man. Yes. Now, the creation of man. Mm -hmm. If he bear the character of God, that mean man consists of heaven mm -hmm. And earth. That's right. Let me say it again. Man, I want to show you your greatness. Man consists mm -hmm. of heaven and earth. That's right. What do you mean? When God made Adam. Adam. That's right. The first man that he made was not alive. No, no. The first man that he made was a dead man. And gave us a body unto Adam. Listen. In the book of 2nd Estrus, chapter 3 and verse 5. It is written. And gave us a body unto he Adam. He gave a body unto Adam. Without soul. Without soul. Holy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. Oh, yes. Let's define soul. soul. There's a inner soul. Mm -hmm. And there is a outer soul. That's right. The book says he made man without soul. Meaning he made man without spirit. That's right. But he said, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. That's not spirit, that's man. That's man. Because you can't kill a spirit. That's right. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That's, that's right. talking about your flesh. flesh. Go ahead, brother. But now the book says he made man without, without soul. soul. Mm -hmm. So when he made that body, yes. And it had no life. Right. It was a dead soul. That's right. It was a lifeless body. That's right. A lifeless human being. That's right. But now God breathed. And it is breathed into him. Listen. Still in Estrus chapter 3 and verse 5. He breathed into him. Into him. The breath of life. The breath of life. And he was made living. And he was made living. Before thee. Before thee. That's in right. Genesis it says he was made a living soul. Soul. That's right. So the outer body mm -hmm. needed a inner soul. That's right. Soul on the inside is the spirit of man. That's right. Soul on the outside is the flesh or the body of man. That's right. So the word soul means the total and complete essence That's right. of the whole man. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. So man consists of heaven and earth. He made it from the Dust, Dust of, the, of the ground. Right. But the breath that came in him came from the most high. That's right. He breathed into him. Mm -hmm. Do you know the breath of your nostrils? The book says it is the spirit of the Lord. All the while. Do you hear this? In the book of Job, chapter 27. And at verse 3. What is it? All the while. All the while. My breath is in me. All, as long. As my breath is in me, and the spirit of and God, the spirit of God is in my nostrils. Hmm. Hmm. I inhale and exhale God. That's right. That's right. Yes. Wonderful, brother. Now the body that we have is equal to a least 
property, a rented house. Oh, yes. And this earthly house eventually will dissolve. That's right. But we have another, another. not made with hands. Right. Eternal. Eternal. Glory we'll take God into heaven. That's right. That's why your body is called a temple. Temple. Don't you know your body is the temple of the living God? Look how important man's body is. That's right. That's but right. man, look at what you're doing. Yes. God did not make you mm -hmm. to pierce your ear. No. He said, I made you in my image. That's right. Only. God did not make you to put tattoos on you. That's right. He said, I made you in my image. That's right. God didn't make you to pierce your nose. That's right. He said, I made you in my image. My image. God didn't make you to have long hair like a woman. That's right. He said, I made you in my, my image. image. Amen. God didn't make you to beat women. He said, I made you in my image. My image. God didn't make you Go ahead, to sleep with your own kind. Go ahead, man. Talk to me. That's right. That's right. That's right. How did God make us? In his own image. Preach it, brother. If he made us in his image, his image. That means the reflection of the creator of the universe must radiate out of the characteristics of man. Right. If I'm shooting up, yeah. uh, that's not reflecting God. Oh no. If I'm drunk, go ahead, brother. I'm not reflecting God. That's right. If I'm holding up a bank. Yeah. Or a corner store. Uh -huh. I'm not reflecting God. Right. If I'm standing over some woman beating her, kicking her, cussing her out, mm -hmm. I'm not reflecting God. That's right. If I'm not taking care of my children, it, brother. am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. I am not reflecting Go God. That's right. If I am a bigot, Go ahead. Go ahead. It, brother. I am not. Go ahead. Reflecting God. That's right. If I'm a homosexual. Amen. 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 I am not reflecting God. That's right. Do you hear how God made us? And so God created man in his own so image. So God. 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 Created man. In his own image. In his own own. His own image. Amen. He created man so man can walk like him, act like him, think like him. That's right. And made him to, to be. Prove mm -hmm. that he made man in his image. Mm -hmm. He gave Adam rule. Yes. Over the garden. That's right. Which represent God's dominance over creation. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Giving man rule right. over the garden. Amen. Represent God's dominance over creation. That's right. Making one man in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Establish it was one God That's right. in the heavens. That's right. See, he made man in his image. He wouldn't make a bunch of them. No. In the beginning. No. He made one to let you know how many made creation in the beginning. That's right. That's right. There's no God with him, no God besides him, yeah. no God before him, mm -hmm. not a family of gods. No. Amen. In his own image. He made Adam mm -hmm. to represent him. That's right. Now, to show you that sin never was in God's character. Mm -hmm. What scripture says, in God, no darkness, no darkness. At, all. at all. Adam, character shift mm -hmm. from light to darkness. To darkness. From righteousness mm -hmm. to unrighteousness. That's right. He starts slipping away. Yeah. One scripture says how the woman put out the spark oh. that was in Adam. Right. As long as Adam's mind, heart, 
and character follow the pattern, the perfect pattern of God, mm -hmm. Adam's character gave off light, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Why do you think he was able to name all the creatures? All the beasts. All the creatures. That ability came from God. That's right. It wasn't Adam no. that was naming all oh, the beasts. Oh no. It was Adam just voicing right. the words of God. That's right. And voicing the name yes. that God gave them. That's right. That's right. Being made in God's image means that God made man to act out. God's will. That's right. To act out God's man. God know you can't see him. Right. So he makes man and man become God's puppet. Go ahead, brother. But now the puppet want a different master. Oh yes. He want to cut his strings loose. Yeah. And be his own. Puppet. That's he wants right. to be a real boy. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. So this type of thinking to become a real boy, it will deprive him from the reality of God. Adam bit of the fruit, and the Bible never said he bit an apple. No, fruit. For you apple lovers. That's right. Well, what was it? I don't know. The fruit. Bible didn't say. No. You got to stop where the book stop. That's right. Yeah. I don't know where it was. Whether it was a watermelon, a cantaloupe. I don't know. No. I don't care. No. One thing I know, it done the job. That's right. That's right. The book says the tree mm -hmm. yeah. was goodly good, good to, to look to. But the words that the Lord told him, it was called the tree of the knowledge. knowledge. The knowledge. It, it wasn't, it didn't say the tree of knowledge, good and evil. No. It says the tree of the knowledge, the knowledge good and evil. Hold it. Why knowledge of good and evil is attached as a tree? A tree begins as seed, and it shows you how knowledge of good and evil first must be planted in the heart of man, then grow up. That's right. And then that good and evil must mature yeah. and develop. Yes. Are you listening? That's right. It begin as a seed. And then it just start developing, right. growing. You know how to do wrong better at 25 oh, yeah. than you did at 10. That's right. That shows you that the tree start growing. That's true. You know how to do wrong better at 25 than you did at 17. And you starting to produce more fruit. You got good at your wicked craft. Yeah. Because you're able to look back at the mistakes that you made and now you can perfect your wickedness. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Everybody all right? Amen. So what happened to man? What happened to us as men? Yeah. Where well, such a shortage until women don't even want to get married today. That's true. Many women are angry, frustrated. They say they can't even find a good man. That's true. You ain't a man because you make babies. Go ahead. Break it. Insects make babies. That's right. Roaches make babies. So what does it prove? Because you get a woman pregnant. Amen. What did God say? God created man in his own image. His own. So, you look at how God take care of his people. Look how God think. Look how God act. Look how God walk and talk. God is a God of balance. 
He's not too much of one thing and less the other. That's right. He's a God of balance. Yes. Things work in order. in order. He implement law to keep things functioning in order. That's right. So if he made man in his image, man have a head. Oh yes. Man's body is called temple. The head is the dome of your temple. Yes. There are some temples, the dome, when the sun set at a certain time of day, the light of the sun shines through the dome. That's right. And it illuminates the whole temple. That's right. The dome or your head is supposed to be illuminated Amen. with the light of God. That's right. Giving light to man's whole temple so he can escape or be guided from the darkness. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Even in the womb, before he come out, man's character is displayed that's right when the man lay with the woman and discharged seed the seed are going against the current yeah. of what's in the woman's body yeah. but they all pursuing the egg that's right within the egg it possess on the inside the character of the female that's right the seed of the man possess the character of that man yeah. so now look at your character before you lay with that woman that's right see so are you discharging satan go ahead brother go ahead it's good teaching brother see are you discharging hate that's right see are you discharging cussing that's right see are you discharging a bunch of drunk amen see are you discharging a love of cocaine go ahead it starts Go ahead. before it come out the womb. That's right. That's true. It's in his DNA. Yeah. The DNA is the makeup of a man. Yes. See, there's a natural DNA yeah. and there's a spiritual DNA. That's right. The natural DNA can be determined in the lab, but the spiritual DNA can be determined right here. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Oh, this is good. So God created man. Do you hear this? God created man. So God, not no scientist. God created man. God. Yeah. We didn't come from a test tube. No. God. God created man. Not no monkey. That's right. Not no chimp. That's, That's a right. chump. Go ahead. God. God. Not Darwin's theory of evolution. No. God. God was not created. That's right. God always was, never had a beginning, never had an ending, but man was created showing that man is lesser. That's right. Then God and he is beneath him that always was. That's right. Now, if God made us in his image, what happened to us? What happened to man? Ever since Adam fell from the commandment of the Most High, every man has been charged to be wicked. That's right. He is born. That's right. Wicked. Born. He is born in lust. Oh yes. Yet in the midst of the way he's born, he still holds image. the image, image or the shape that God made him man. That's right. But he's absence of the character of God. Oh yes. Now when the child is born, the child is innocent. It inherits man's failure. That's right. That's right. The 
child inherits Adam's sin. This is the effect that Adam's failure had. Adam's failure, Adam's disobedience charged all of us. That's right. It affects every man and every woman that's born. Amen. By one man. By yes. one man. Listen. Listen at this. In Romans chapter 5 and at verse 17. Listen. For if by one man's offense. If by one man's offense. Death reigned by one. That means Adam offended God. That's right. God was offended by the conduct of Adam. That's right. By one man's offense. Offense. Death. Death reigned by one. Reign by one, meaning Re- sin. Reign by one. That's right. Mm-hmm. Romans 5 and at verse 12. What is it? Wherefore, as by one man, as by one man, sin entered into the world. Adam was the doorway yeah. for sin to come here. That's right. As long as he respected and upheld God's law, it kept the door closed. Mm-hmm. But when he violated God's law, it opened the door, a passageway. Oh yes. For sin. That's right. To come in. That's right. Now, Adam was made in the God of heaven's image. But Adam also became subject to another God. That's right. Break it down, For sin is called the God of this world so when Adam disobeyed God he fell and when he failed he took on a new character that's right when you change gods you get a lesser God a incompetent God that's right you get a God that's not all-knowing, nor is he the Almighty. Amen. Satan don't know all things. No. Satan only know what God let him know. That's right. Satan can't do all things. Mm-hmm. He only can do what God give him permission to do. That's right. So here is Adam choosing a God beneath the Almighty. That's right. But yet this God has power. power. For the fall of Adam determined man's state of being. That's right. So Adam fell. Mm -hmm. And Satan was called son of the morning. In the book of Isaiah, Lucifer was seen by the prophet being cast out of heaven. Heaven. Now being cast out of heaven, Mm -hmm. long before man fall, you got to have a fall of a spirit. That's right. The fall of Lucifer represent the fall that would come. That's right. First, you had a whole righteous atmosphere, heaven. Heaven. That's right. A place of perfection. A place where only righteousness was. Holiness. No defilement. No darkness. No corruption. All the angels bowed to God, cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Not God in three persons. They didn't say that. No. They didn't say holy, 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 Lord. Lord God Almighty, God and three persons, blessed Trinity. They didn't say that lie. No, no. no. They didn't say that lie. That lie came later. That's right. That was a late lie. That's right. Hmm? Amen. But here's Lucifer put out. Fallen from heaven. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 14 and at verse 12. Listen at this. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? O Lucifer. Son of the morning. Son. Spell son. S-O-N. Hold it. Son. S-O-N. You got to have a father. Who was Lucifer's father? God. God. What you mean God was his father? 
God is the father of all spirits. That's right. There is no spirit that comes into existence on its own. Right. It is God that's the creator of all spirits. He said, I create good and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Shall we not? Now, now here come Lucifer being put out. And the prophet says, what? How art thou fallen from heaven? How art thou fallen from God? O oh, Lucifer. How art thou fallen from God? That's right. Oh, who? Oh, Lucifer. Now, let me give you a better understanding. Yeah. Just like whenever the rainbow is seen in the heavens today, the Lord says, how he remembers the oath that he made to Noah, yeah. that he won't destroy the world, the whole earth no more with water. He didn't say it won't be no more floods. No. He said he won't destroy the whole earth. That's right. He used the rainbow as a sign. Mm -hmm. The angels of heaven, the scriptures likened them unto the stars mm -hmm. of heaven. That's right. A star in the heaven reflect the sun at night that you don't see. Lucifer, the angel, was cast out of heaven. So here you got a star losing his light. That's right. I beheld Satan mm -hmm. fall from heaven as lightning, showing the quickness of his removal. That's right. Which also symbolized God not willing to tolerate. Yeah. I want to get rid of it quick. Right. It's causing trouble quick. Yeah. And I got to get rid of it quick. So he comes down and his fall compares to lightning. Lightning, lightning comes, lightning goes. Yeah. So whenever a star falls from heaven, you find it travel through the atmosphere, it's bright. That's right. But when it hit earth, it loses light. Mm -hmm. right. And unless you are able to study the stars, how they differ from one another, when that star falls from heaven to the earth, you may look at it as a rock and never knew that it came from heaven That's right. because of your lack of knowledge. Why you think it's a rock? Because it lost its light. That's right. Huh? That's right. Whenever a brother or a sister depart from the light of God backslides from they leave the heavenly place That's right. That's right. and long as they with God they are like a star that shines because they're close it's close to the Sun yeah when you leave God and go out in the world many times the sinner may not didn't even know you once was with God that's true because you lost your life lost your life and it looked like all the other dirt that is out there that's right, that's right. Adam fell the devil was put out he was called the son of the morning of the morning what happened? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Yes. How art thou cut down to the ground? Cut down to the ground. Which did its weaken you the nations. You weaken the nations. Look at the devil power. That's right. Weaken nations. nations. Now hold it. Without the woman, you don't have a nation. Right. That's right. Let me say it again. That's right. The nation starts with the existence of a woman. That's right. And the book of Revelation, he said, I saw a wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. She was clothed with the sun. The shining of the sun represents the arrival of a new day. When you got the moon, that represents the ending of the day. So you had the ending of one nation and the rise of another nation. That's but right. upon her head was a crown of 12 stars. So this woman represents a nation. That's right. A nation, nation 
that was Israel. Israel. Because upon her head was a crown Whoa. of 12 stars, 12 stars, showing you that 12 stars represent the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Now, they represent the 12 tribes of Israel that will have the effects of the sun and the effects of the moon. Of the moon. The moon represents the past. That's right. A former house. Former. That's right. Hagee I said mm -hmm. that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Than the former. That's right. What you mean? Israel that come in the last days. Yeah. The Gentile Israel. Oh yes. The New Testament church. Mm -hmm. Those that are not Jews by birth. That's right. But Joe, those that are Jews by divine birth. That's right. Of the heart will be better, better than those that travel just to get to the natural land of Canaan. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. The sun is lesser light. The moon. The moon. Where, or rather the moon is lesser light. So where there's lesser light, there's less knowledge. Right. That's right. Where there's greater light, there's more knowledge. That's right. But it was a woman, mm -hmm. which represent the arrival of a nation. That's right. So if a man, now listen, <laughs> brother, we as men don't even have a name <laughs> without the female. That's right. Let me make it more hard, brother. You can't even exist without the existing of the female. That's right. And can't no man get pregnant? Man is designed to put forth. Right. Man, woman is designed to bring forth. That's right. That's right. Man can't get pregnant even though trying. overseas in China and Japan, they are trying. Trying. Yes, there are scientists are uh, trying now. Amen. Come up with a way to impregnate man. You see, since man fell from God, his knowledge has become so corrupt until now he wanna challenge his own maker. That's right. That's right. Now man don't want God. No. You have chose Satan Satan. as your God. Mm -hmm. Why do you gang bang? Amen. Because you serve Satan. Yeah. Why do you murder and shed blood? Because you serve Satan. That's right. What makes you go inside your mother house and beat up your own mother? Yeah. And rape your own mother? Amen. Because you serve Satan. That's right. What makes the President of the United States condone same-sex marriages? Amen. Because that's a servant of Satan. That's right. What make Luke Gingrich Preach it. leave his wife when she's dying from cancer? Go ahead, brother. And leave the second one when she gets sick. Amen. And pick up a third. That's right. So he can be a free going president. That's right. Because he served Satan. That's right. What makes preachers condone remarriage and divorce? Amen. Because they serve Satan. Amen. What make you live together and not marry? Right. Because you serve Satan. That's right. What make you make a string of babies? Preach it, brother. And brag about it. Go ahead. And don't take care of none. No, no. Because you serve Satan. I know you're not. Someone say, well, I don't believe that. Listen at the book. In Romans chapter 6 and verse 16. Know ye not. Do you know this? That to whom ye yield yourselves. Ye subject yourselves. Servants to obey. Servants to obey. His servants ye his are. His servants ye are. To whom ye obey. To whom you obey. Whether of sin. Whether of wickedness. Unto death. Unto death. Or of obedience. Or of obedience. Unto righteousness. 
God says you're bound by the law as long as you live. Long as you live. One husband, one wife. Amen. Only deaths break that law. That's right. So when you get another one, That's right. you become a servant right. of Satan. Mm -hmm. When a judge or a preacher mm -hmm. or a governor or a mayor yeah. or any politician yes. will stand up and agree mm -hmm. that the courts of their city should be open mm -hmm. so all men can marry men and all women can marry women then that politician whether he's an elephant or a mule that's right a democrat or republican that's right is a child of satan amen that's right why because he's taking his members and yielding them yielding them over to be a servant to, whom to the them. thoughts of the devil that's right this is how corrupt man has become oh yes what made preachers preach for money yeah. go ahead go ahead because they are servants, servants of Satan. That's right. Go ahead, brother. When God made man yeah. in his image, his image, think of it. He was made in the image of he that is perfect. That's right. The true definition of perfect is God. Yeah. The true definition of infallible is God. That's right. Think of it. One time, man was perfect, perfect, spotless. Yeah. That was the original agenda of God. That's right. So if he made man in his image, he's telling you right then, this is the way I purpose, purpose. I intended yes. for man to be. For God created man. Listen. In the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and at verse 23. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. For God created man. God created man. To be immortal. Wait a minute. Hmm. Amen. God created man to be what? God created man to be immortal. God purposed that man would be eternal. That's right. And made him. And made him. To be an image. To be an image. Of his own eternity. Hmm. Hey. Amen. Let's break it down. Break it down. That's right. A image of his eternity. own eternity. God made man to be an image of his own Only eternity. eternity. That's right. But there are two places in eternity. Right. One with God. Yes. One with the devil. That's right. So when God That's made man, yeah. there's a part of man. Mm -hmm that you don't see that's right. and it's the unseen part that's eternal right. of his own eternity, eternity. his eternal part mm -hmm. will look like the temporary part that's right for eternal go ahead. identification go ahead for the book says you shall be known as you, know. as you are known oh, I know. God made man go ahead to reflect him oh yes after he made man man fell from that day forward man inherited a wobble <laughs> in his nature that's right before then he was a complete circle yeah. balance just rolling yeah rolling oh. well balanced but when he fell, yeah. a wobble mm -hmm. in his will. Amen. <laughs> he need a will alignment. That's right. And to get a will alignment, right. he got to be called back to the garage. That's right. Go ahead. Need repair. Amen. Sin yes, has wore down the tread. Yes, Go ahead. On our lives. Go ahead. Many go to church for pastime. Yes. Many going to go to church tomorrow to celebrate Easter. Easter. And Easter ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. That's right. The Bible ain't never said Jesus rose on Easter. No, no. It never said it nowhere. Nowhere. What do rabbits 
and eggs got to do with Jesus. Go ahead. If the scriptures didn't say he rose on Easter, stop going down telling that lie. Amen. Jesus said to believe on him. That's right. As the scripture has said. As the scripture has said. Are you getting what the old troublemaker's telling you? Oh, thou Adam. Oh, thou Adam. What hast thou done? Give chapter and verse for this. Everybody all right? In 2nd Esther's chapter 7. 2nd Esther's chapter 7. And verse quick so I can get out the way. And at verse 48. Verse 48. Oh, thou Adam, what hast thou done? Oh, thou Adam. What happened to you? For though it was thou that sinned, it was you that sinned. Thou art not fallen alone. You didn't fall alone. But we all, we all, that come of thee, that come of you. Amen. Everybody now, it's the domino effect. That's right. One man sins. That shows you how strong, strong. Adam failure was. Yeah. God made us to be like him. That's right. So now man struggles That's right. to be like God. There's a wobble yeah. in his nature. Yeah. He come for an alignment. As he go on his journey in life, he hit a lot of potholes. Oh, yes. That knock his life out of divine alignment with the book of scripture. That's right. And sometimes he's too arrogant, yeah. too self-centered. Oh, yes. Too overrighteous, mm -hmm. too hard head, mm -hmm. too stubborn yeah. to let someone check out his will. That's right, that's right. This is the condition. The scriptures Go ahead. is the manual yeah. to show us how we should function. That's right. You don't have a right to give your opinion. No. We don't have the right to lean to our own understanding. We don't have the right to bring our own idea. That's right. What God says is law. That's right. Not what I say. That's what right. What God says oh, is law. That's right. Not what your Jerry Curl hair reverend say. Amen. What God say God is said. law. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Bro. So millions write me cussing me out. Yeah. I didn't write the Bible. No. It's, this is not Geno Ministries. No. It's the truth of God. That's right. All about God from the beginning and God at the end. At the end. Amen. It's wonderful. God made man. Wonderful. Wonderful. To be like him. Yeah. He didn't make you to wear your hair like a woman. No. Did he, man? No. Talk back to me. No. God didn't make you to smoke weed. No. God didn't make you to shoot up with cocaine. No. God didn't make you to chase women. No. God didn't make you to chase men. No. God didn't make you to be lazy. No. God didn't make you to beat women. No. God didn't make you to steal. No. God didn't make you to rape. No. God didn't make you to arch your eyebrows. No. God didn't make you to put gold on your teeth. No. God didn't make you to switch like Eve. No. God didn't make you to kiss another man. No. God didn't make you to marry another man. No. God didn't make you to get on your knees and put your mouth on another man. No. Talk to me. No. Ooh said he made us. God created man in his own. He created us. In his own image. In his own image. This is more than having a shape and a figure. It's a character. But when our character don't meet up to the characteristics of the laws of God, then there is a flaw in our character. And we must go back to God to straighten out this flaw. We must go back to God straighten out the flaw. We must go back to the manual and see how he was made and what did God intended for us to be. And if we see things in our life that's not running according to what's written, now we got to start pulling off, shaping up. 
We need repairs on our life because there's a wobble in the nature of man. You that are watching, I don't care how much money you got. You think God is impressed with your wealth? Everything belongs to God. Listen, you rich folk, you know what you got in common with poor folk like us? Is death. Think of it. You're a wealthy man, wealthy woman, you die. They have this very big funeral for you. Yeah. Celebrities come and talk about your goodness <laughs> and your greatness. You get a casket cost two and three and four hundred thousand dollars. They put you in an airtight vault and put you in this fancy mausoleum. But yet you didn't have God. Here's a poor person died, can't even afford a box. They just take his or her body, just throw them in the ground. A rich man died full of wealth. Yeah. Poor person died with nothing. nothing. But you both had one thing in common. Neither one of you gave God no time. Listen to me, you rich, arrogant, self-righteous, self-centered fool. Go ahead. Do you think because of the money you got, the car you drive, the house you have, you impress God? Hmm. God made you to live for him. Yes. And God proved that you you ain't a bunch of nothing, nothing because when you die what can you do what can you do can you buy your place in the kingdom right. now you really have managed to put forth some good deals while you was living <laughs> can you put a deal over on god for him to guarantee you a eternal spot my lord god says god created man in his own image i believe one scripture talks about the difficulty of a rich man to be saved. He said it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into the kingdom of God. A camel? A camel? Why is it so hard for you, rich man? You know why? Because it isn't a sin to be rich. The sin is when riches have you. have you. The book says, let not the rich man glory in his riches. But if any man glory, glory in this, that he know and understand God. That's right. Wonderful teachings. This message of holiness. It consists of the characteristics of your creator, God. Oh, yes. You can ride around any fancy car you like. You can save all the money in the world. You're going to stand before the God that I preach about. To my bigots. Please don't think by the color of your skin that you have a higher place in the kingdom. That's right. <laughs> Please don't think that I'm going to be in the kitchen making you chicken. <laughs> That's right. No. Good, brother. Good. God don't play that. No. No way. Brother Paul said, there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness. That's right. That's the righteous judge shall give me at that, not for me only. That's right. All. But for all. Them. That love is appearing. That oh. love is appearing. That got every ethnic group oh. in the world. So you white bigots and black bigots. <laughs> you homosexuals. <clears throat> You're not getting into the kingdom. You're not getting in. Any preacher that says a gay person can be saved being gay, you have blasphemed. And you are a liar. Listen, I don't care if it's your gay husband. Right. I don't care if it's your gay son. Right. I don't care if it's your gay mama. Right. I don't care if it's your gay slap happy grandpappy. Amen. God did not purpose no. for two men. No. no. To marry each other. No. God did not purpose no. for two women to marry each other. That's right. He said male and female, and female, female. created 
he, them. them. Right then, that lets you know you can credit him for only that gender. That's right. That's right. Uh, That's right. Uh, male and female. Male and female. Created he, them. You take the credit for that. That's right. He don't take the credit for nothing in between. No, no. no. You men on the down low, you're going to be low in hell. Low in hell. That's right. I know many of you don't like what I'm preaching. No. But because the church is not paying me, I can preach as free as I want. That's right. God made man in his own image. In his own image. In his own. Image. And if he made man in his image, God was not and is not and shall never be a homosexual. No. no. When God appeared to the prophets. Go ahead, brother. That's right, sir. Even when he appeared as a man, in a man form, right. there was nothing feminine about him. No prophet said, I couldn't tell whether he was a woman or a man. No, no. No, sir. No, no way. I want you in Jamaica to get this, because you islands in the Caribbean used to be very hard on homosexuality. But I'm getting letters out of Jamaica that the parliament in Jamaica now wants to take the gay issue back to the floor and reconsider it. You know, that goes to show you how low, how low you ungodly, hell-deserving politicians are. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't like what I said. That's right. I wasn't hired by the government. I'm not being paid by the government. I am not owned by the government. That's right. I work for God. I'm hired by God. Go ahead. And if need be, I die for God. Go ahead. So all the men and women that are watching and listening, God made you for his glory. Look at yourself, love yourself, respect yourself. Stop thinking you got to stoop low and act like a dog to get respect. Young men, the gangs don't have nothing to offer you but a cemetery. And then they stand over you and pour beer and whiskey on your casket. My Lord. Just so you can be washed into hell. That's right. That's right. Big cocaine dealer die, they throw a little cocaine, a little dust in your grave. If you was a pimp, they pimp your casket. <laughs> Take your old dead hell deserving corpse. Dress you up in a tailor-made suit. Prop you up. My Lord. Put a stern wheel on your casket. Put some rims on your casket. And put a Bentley emblem on the front of your casket. My Lord. Prop up a stiff fool. fool. Just so your old hoes can walk by and look at they dead pimp. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Teach it. Hey, you old fish net stock wearing hoes. Preach it. Walk by and look at your two legged dead dog. Go ahead, brother. That's about to go to hell. Go ahead. Yes, I said it and I meant it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Love yourself. Why are you out there working for a pimp? Yeah. Who would take you and sell you like you a dirty rag? Oh, yeah. Love yourself. Why you gotta stoop low and be beaten by some man? Why you gotta use your womb to make a dollar? Love yourself. You are made for in God's image. Go ahead, for the glory, mean for the using of God. That's right. Come off the streets of America. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Mothers today. Or running with men, stooping to prostitution, to put food in the mouths of their babies. Men, you get drunk, and then come home to a good woman, you that have her, and want to cuss her out, beat her up, 
want to keep her from going to church. That's right. You're the only man. Your children look at you like a sloppy mouth dog. Lord. Beating up their mother. Standing over their mother, kicking them. Now let me tell you something, you violent thing, you. You are training your son to be no good. A man that beats a woman, a man that abuses a woman, you are absolutely, positively no good. No good. Now, you can brag, you can brag how you bought her a car and how you buy her a house. But if you put your hands on her, you're no good. Now, I know many of you don't like it and many of you will say she deserves it. That's what they say right away. She deserves it. No woman deserves to be beaten like a dog. It doesn't matter what she do. But well, what will God say about that? There was a woman who was a hoe. Her name was Rahab. She was called the harlot Rahab. God gave Israel the land and Israel had a reputation of taking over everything. But the harlot Rahab heard how Israel was coming in town. And the spies went to spy out the land and there was a woman who was a harlot that hid them. Right. And they promised her that your good will be honored. They said, take this scarlet thread and put it in the window. Because our people coming in town and you know God is with us. And when we come in town, we take over everything. But you put the scarlet thread in the window. So when we come in town, your house will be spared. God had mercy upon the house of a harlot because she done good for the people of God. So brothers and sisters, friends and to my universal loyal viewers of enemies, God made us to represent him. Judge yourselves. Repent of your sins. You want to start repairing yourself? Repent of your sins. Be sorry about your madness. Be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. You're starting to get the wobble out of you. After your will. That's right. Seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. That's the weight that's put on the will which brings balance. That's right. That brings stability. Then take your time. Learn the way of holiness which keep you stable, upright, in the sight of Almighty God. Remember what saith the book of scriptures. So God created man in his oh, own image. God gave us all something just excellent this evening. So God did what? God created man in his own image. He created man in his own image. In the image of God created he in him. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created Male he them. and female created he them. Thank you for listening, <laughs> brothers and sisters. says Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Uh, it simply says Jesus is one true God, but Son of the one true God. <laughs> Jesus is the one true God, uh -huh. but Son of the one true God. So obviously you want to know whether Jesus Christ 
was God or the Son of God. Right. All right, let me open that up, and I want to take my time and get a trail mix of scripture. 